Hello and welcome to this new series. This new series will explore feature by feature comparison between Tableau and Power BI. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for the new videos. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to create a measure and what we have done is we have created this gross sales and amount in our last video and uh, discount amount. So what we are going to do is we are going to calculate discount percentage because discount percentage is should be created after we aggregate the data. So it's a divide. So sum of A by sum of B is a better option when we do such calculations. So we are not going to do the average of discount percent which is available with us. We actually going to create a new discount percentage which is basically sum of discount amount versus uh, you know uh, by the gross amount and this is spelling mistake. I'm going to correct it here. The rename. Okay, so let me do one thing. Let me create a major and in Power BI, if I want to create a major, I have an option to create a new major. So if I, and then major uh, does not belong to a table. It belongs to basically a model. So even if I create in some other related table, it will go ahead and become part of that one. Or I can go ahead and create a major table. I can do that. So, but here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on sales and then I'm going to say new major. And here I'm going to give it a name as discount percentage. And I'm going to use divide function because it can handle null value in Power BI. So better to have that. And Major need a major out here. It need a calculated column or column where you can define the calculations. So I'll say sum of discount amount and divide by sum of gross sales. Okay. And I got this new major created and let's quickly go ahead and use this. So I'm going to add a table visual. And in the table visual, I'm going to add category and discount percentage. That's my major. It's almost same. Let me check out on some other thing. Let's say brand. Okay. We can see some difference and because this is a data which we have calculated um, um, by manipulation. So you can have these kind of numbers which are pretty consistent. So let me put the brand first. Okay. So we have some difference. So we'll, we are going to do this in Tableau also. So let's jump to Tableau now. In Tableau, now the way to calculate uh, create a major is very similar again you have to go to the calculated field so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sales table right click on any one of these on and I say create calculated field and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it discount percent and I'm going to call sum of discount amount divided by sum of gross sales and now to handle the null value I can use a if statement if sum of gross sales equals to zero then zero as this at the end, let me put one more parenthesis. The calculation has an error. Let's try out. Then, else, and remove this. At the end, we need end also. And let's remove these things and put a spaces out out here. So sum of sales equals to zero, then zero else sum is actually we have missed the sum out here. 
while doing these calculations. So now calculation is valid. Okay. So sum of gross is equal to zero, then zero as we have this, this sum of discount amount by. So again, here you are doing a calculation which is a major, so major needs a major means it need to have some kind of aggregation because discount amount, uh, we can't simply take it as a column. So we have to give some kind of aggregation that that's what we had and it was missing. It was giving some error. So let's have it now. And you see immediately below here, it came into the majors. So we have got a major into the major names directly in case of tab view. So we don't have to create a major table out here. We simply got it there. And now what I'm going to do is same thing that we have done in Power BI. We are actually going to plot it and see how does it behave. So we have taken a brand out there. Let's drag a brand here and it should give us a table visual and we don't have values right now. And then let's drag discount percentage on rows. Let's say, how does it behave? Okay. And on columns and it has become this one. Let's change it to table visual, a similar kind of values. We are getting brand one, brand two, but uh, see tableau has sorted it better or is it text sorting? No, in, in spite of having toss text sorting, see that uh, brand 10 is at correct place. So that's better sorting out here. And we will continue to explore these options in Power BI and tableau in upcoming videos. So do let us know what else you wanted to see in this particular series. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, press the bell icon so that you can get notification for the new video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Get involved. Keep asking questions in comments. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of our new video. Keep watching.